Hello Libra and welcome to Lightworker Tarot and Oracle. This is a general reading for Libra for September 2019. The messages may pertain to events in the past or future, could even be for the people around you, so apply the messages as it relates to your situation. If it does not resonate, check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for other prominent elements in your birth chart, and you can watch those readings and there may be something for you. My email is below if you're interested in a personal reading. I will respond with rates and dates. Okay, Libra, and I'm a Libra, so uh, I, I completely took myself out of this equation and asked Spirit, what is going on for the collective of Libras? And um, it's, it's uh, interesting energy. So I pull a single Rider weight tarot card to represent the energy for the collective, and we have the Seven of Swords. Also, um, I meditated on the energies for Libra, and I got two uh, messages. The first is, speak up, and the second is, look to the horizon, or look on the horizon. So, um, interesting messages. Not really sure how they apply right now, but let's just say that Colette Baron Reed's Wisdom of the Oracle for uh, this reading is Fork in the Road. So looking to the horizon for sure and knowing that there um, are choices, um, places to go, um, decisions in relationships, decisions in life. Um, in this particular case, we have the Life Partner card. Um, this could represent um, a, a marriage, a partnership, a long-term a committed relationship, someone who is either in your life uh, for life or someone you are perhaps um, on your path to meet. In this particular case, I'm feeling like it is someone you are already coupled with. Um, there's an element here of clinging to something or holding on to something. Uh, we'll see what that's about. I'm actually curious. And you showed up in the rating balance Libras are all about balance, about finding um, fairness in situations, all about reciprocity. So um, it looks like there is maybe a decision in a relationship. So um, let's put this Seven of Swords character back because there's, there's something about this energy that feels like um, the need to get away or the need to, um, I don't know reveal something it feels it feels sneaky you know that's the person who does things in the in the in the darkness so let's find out what's going on here for libra september 2019 spirit what are the messages that need to come through for libra for september 2019 strongest energies please for libra cards are jumpy This is a six card spread. The first is the Page of Cups. Um, this is um, an offer of love. It can be uh, an apology. Next, we have the King of Pentacles. This uh, could be your partner or represent you. You might be dealing with an earth sign. The King of Pentacles is uh, someone who is um, stable, is uh, hardworking, is a leader. Then you have another message, the Page of Wands, or this could represent uh, someone at a distance, uh, long distance messages. This could represent uh, internet communication. Um, then you have the Six of Swords. Ah, now we're getting somewhere where we have uh, a fork in the road. Okay, two more cards and then we will clarify. Spirit, what else do you have for the sign of Libra for September 2019? Two more cards. What, are, what other important messages need to come through for Libra for September 2019? What do you have for Libra spirit? Whoa! Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. We've got the Hanged Man. This is taking a pause. This is introspection. This is illumination. Um, something coming to light in a period of, of downtime or pause. Um, and then we have the Two of Swords, the need to make a decision, but, but being somewhat blindfolded, um, you're not seeing everything, but, um, we'll find out if it comes to light. 
Okay, let's first clarify the Page of Cups. There's, there's a, a loving message here. What is this? What is this Page of Cups, Spirit? Why is the Page of Cups here? Ah, okay. We've got the devil. So someone could have... Um, Someone could have been um, stuck in a situation that maybe wasn't healthy. Maybe they were holding on a little too long. I feel like this page of cups is, um, you know, someone coming to, uh, to apologize. Maybe they want to talk about it. They want to tell you what's been going on. It, it could be this king of pentacles energy. But the devil is, you know, it's, it's unhealthy attachments. It's... Um, you know, things that maybe we're being held on to that shouldn't be. Let's see, what is this devil energy? Let's take another clarifier. Why is the devil here, Spirit? Why is the devil here? Okay. Um, we've got the Knight of Swords. This might have been uh, some maybe reckless action, reckless behavior. Um, what else? I'm kind of wanting to dig into this. What else? Okay, yeah, the truth is coming out. The Ace of Swords. Um, th so this this person is is coming to you with um, a message about maybe what went on, um, what they were holding on to, maybe what they were engaged in. I feel like the holding on it could either be them holding on to a situation that wasn't healthy. Um, perhaps they have someone in their life who isn't healthy. Um, I don't I don't see third party energy here at all, but um, it doesn't have to be another person. It could be just something that kept them stuck. Um, reckless behavior I'm getting. There's a need to speak up though. Maybe that's where I got that from in in my um, in my my meditation is that some truth needs to come out and this this person wants to talk about this. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here for Libra? September 2019. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Ooh, yeah, this is harsh energy. The, the Five of Swords is um, kind of tit for tat. It's a little bit petty. Yeah, there, somebody was engaged in something that, that benefited them and nobody else. Um, it, it feels uh, like power struggle. Let's clarify the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here for Libra? Messages. Messages from afar, someone from a distance, internet communication. What is this? Oh. Okay, a couple, couple cards flew out. First, we've got the Eight of Swords. This is someone dwelling on something, uh, kind of in their headspace, being um, trapped in their thoughts, ruminating over something, feeling stressed out. Um, so I feel like this is this is something that um, this person wants to bring to light. Queen of Swords represents air energy. This could be um, you, Libra, uh, or another Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But this is um, this is about. Um, speaking your truth, clarity. So I, I feel like this is something that someone has wanted to say, a message that needs to come out. Um, they're stressed out about it. Let's clarify these six of wands. There's a need to get to a, a better um, state of things, a better mental state, swords or thoughts. So what is this six of swords? It's the energy of moving past something. Yeah, there, there, something, there was some... Something that was said or done, uh, someone is sad, they are regretful. And two other cards flew out. We have the Strength card. We have the Four of Swords. This is about healing and rejuvenation. So someone is um, really, really feeling it. And they want the opportunity to move past this. This is either you or the person you're dealing with. Wow. Clarify the hanged man spirit. Why is hanged man here for Libra? For September 2019. Okay. The, uh, the Knight of Wands is um, about 
action. This is somebody taking action. I think after a period of, of introspection, this person has uh, really gone within. They have um, gotten some spiritual guidance in their moment of pause, and they want to come in and I think make this right. Achieve balance in this situation. What is the Two of Swords, please, Spirit? Why is the Two of Swords here? Clarify the Two of Swords. What is the decision that needs to be made? What is the decision that needs to be made by Libra or the person they're dealing with? What is this decision? Two of Swords, assessing, deciding. Uh, okay, so we've got the star. Um, this is going toward a wish fulfillment. Um, this is healing this partnership. This is achieving balance. I really believe that um, this person, in an honest effort to, um, to make things right, um, or you, with the desire to move past these things that hurt you so badly, um, you, you need to heal. You need to heal. You're at a fork in the road where you can, you know, make things right, find balance with this life partner. Um, you have the strength to do it. There's some things that need to be overcome for sure. And then the last card out, you've got the magician. So, um, you know, I can take the magician one of two ways. You know, the, the pre-read, I had the seven of swords. So it's a little bit tricky energy. There could have been a little bit of, uh, you know, manipulation. Um, some, some really... Um, interesting energy, uh, manipulation I'm getting uh, strongly, um, someone who is um, trying to work things in their favor, but um, you, you're at an impasse. You're, you're, you're definitely needing to make a decision, um, but speak your truth. This is, um, this is your decision to make. You need to find balance, and, and the fork in the road is telling you that you're at a you're at a, a place in your life where you work it out or you don't work it out. So let's get some advice from Spirit. We are using the Lightworker Oracle Spirit Advice Deck. Spirit, what is your advice for Libra in this tricky situation? What is your advice for Libra? What is your advice for Libra, Spirit? We've got reconcile, reconcile. So th this is a life partnership. This is someone who is in your life for a reason. Um, you're holding on to this, but I, you need answers. You definitely need answers. And then we get don't hesitate. So, um, you know, speak your truth. Ask this person for, um, you know, an explanation. I, I think they want to, they want to speak the truth. They want to come forward and talk to you about, um, you know, what it is that was going on. You need balance in this situation, though, for sure. Spirit, one other card. What what other advice do you have for Libra? Ah, nurture yourself. Yeah, Libras need balance for sure. Um, and I'm feeling that really strongly here. You have the strength. But you, you need to heal from this. You need balance. So, you know, what you're doing for yourself is just one part of this equation. The person you are involved with also needs to own it. Own it. Be truthful. I really do feel that there's some regret here, though. So, I wish you well in this situation. Um, love and light to you. Thank you.